Howdy, 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 my name is Nacho Sasuke, and happy 612, and welcome back to Let's Read Homestead. In this episode, we're going to start Act 6, Intermission 3. So the music is going to be loud for this, and also I have my fan running because it's 90 degrees outside. It has officially been five years since I last played this, because this came out right around when I read Homestuck for the first time, when I got all caught up with everybody and then had to read it at the same pace as everyone else. Let's open this. It's Dad's hat! You got a dirty old fedora. Totally useless. This nasty trash isn't coming anywhere close to your head. Doesn't even have horn trolls. Looks like something an archaeologist would wear. I wonder whose memory this is. Hashtag hornless troll Indiana Jones hat. Now, I see this time that there's a walkthrough and a map. But I'm just going to see how I do without using either one of those. Because this is going to be the whole episode for right now. Hey, it's the... You got a double trident. You already have one of these, but there ain't nothing wrong with having a little more solid gold in your inventory. You got an extravagant ghost sea princess lifestyle to maintain. Hashtag gold, hashtag dollar, 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 hashtag booyah. Sorry if I'm talking loudly. The music is, like, loud on my end. Also try to talk over my fan. Hey, it's a radio! Zap in it. Talk. Greetings! I've been meaning to say hello since you arrived. I forgot that she has weird dimples now. Megiddo? Aw, oh, hell no. Yes, but not the one you're thinking of. Which one, then? I'd like to consider myself as something as a caretaker for this place. Hashtag, you know, the, the afterlife. I'd refer to myself as an excellent host, but that has kind of become a loaded phrase. You look like Megiddo, but sure don't sound like any Megiddo I know. I should hope not. Anyway, those of us who are concerned with the preservation of reality have been looking forward to this day for some time. Even though time is really just a figure of speech here. Why would you be looking forward to this shit? The sky just broke, stupid fairy. Not the devastation so much as your arrival. You have some big plans, yes? Maybe. What's it to you? Oh, nothing. I'm merely extending the courtesy of a formal welcome. Now off with you. Go find your friends. That is why you've come out of your palace, isn't it? Yeah. I guess I'll get going then. But I got my eye on you, Megiddo looking fairy. Ta! Wait, there was a little orb there that I could have clicked. But I'm not going all the way back through the conversation just for that. But I'll try to keep an eye on that now. Bones! You got some ancient serpent bones. Again, strange thing to find. Who would have a memory of these? Huge prehistoric green serpents have always played a major role in your people's mythology. Well, before and after your zest and scratch. Of course, only people with an interest in ancient lore and dusty old bones give a crap about that. You're much more interested in their monetary value. Hopefully you can find a sucker to pay for them big time. Where's the prawn shop up in this bitch? Oh, rocks. Lost? No? I, uh, went the wrong way. Yes, that's a dead end. Where you want to go is that way. <laughs> Double pistol hands and a, a wink. Thanks, weirdo. Okay, what is this? Rebubble this memory? Uh, okay. You rebubbled a memory and did extremely well received by your followers. You're on a roll here. You've been rebubbling all on all cylinders lately, and it's been attracting quite a lot of attention. You have more followers than you know what to do with. Keep it up! If you can manage to get everyone in the afterlife to follow you, the Dark Gods will grant you a boon of resurrection. Alright. Open the box. You got some boon dollars, Skitching. It's not much, but you pocket the loot without a second thought. Bank roll's been a little slack since you died, and every every bit helps when you're climbing back to obscene wealth. Okay, that's all another treasure chest over here. Hey! You got a scalemate plush, Pyrospite. Holy shit, you are never gonna stop hugging this thing ever. 
highly desirable merchandise. I wish I had one of those. I don't have like any Homestuck merch, and it it, it saddens me. Well, I have a I have a, a, a Kanaya pin, but that's basically just a Virgo pin. You got a bronze potion. This stuff is supposed to make you kiss good with side effects of bile to total paralysis. Wait a minute. Isn't this just some troll blood? You throw it off a cliff. Okay, I guess this is the way to go. Down some stairs. There's a trail of broken eight balls. Let's not follow that yet. You got a boom buck. Now we're talking. This should get your broke ass off the canvas. This is a crime that the insane fortune you accumulated your gain is persist after you die. You guess it's true, you really can't take it with you to the other side. But once you're there, you can try to make it back in a fucking hurry. What? Trees! A beach! Wait! Okay, I'm, I guess I'm over here now. Box. You got a Juju, an effigy to be precise. It has magical properties, binding it to the mortality of someone depending on what hat it wears. Hey, maybe you'll hang it from this tree. Nah, that's a bit morbid. You'll just hock it up, just hock it to some chump. I cannot look at the tree. Or the shells. Is there gonna be somebody out here? Oh, hey, it's uh, her. No, that's weird brain ground. Don't want to go that way yet. Gotta talk to our really, really talkative friend. Friend in quotation marks. An orb of some kind. It's the Thorns of Oglagoth. Any sane adventure will cast these instruments of the occult into the furthest ring and forget they ever existed. And it looks like someone did just that. A wise move. Dave E. Bubbles. God, everything is about parties with you. You rebubble this memory and it gets almost no likes or hates. People soon have no opinion about it at all, which is actually the worst imaginable outcome. It is a fate ten times worse than death and a hundred times worse than second death. Alright. That is a bottle out there. No, but it's a house. With a rose. Hey. There you are! Haven't seen much of you since you joined us in the afterlife. I know you're royalty and all, but it isn't very sociable of you to lock yourself in your lavish moon hive forever. Everyone has missed you! Well, I'm here now, aren't I? Yes, and it's a good thing you are. I was just about to come find you so we could discuss the recent calamity out in the abyss. Wordplay. Eight letter words. Oh, yes. Yeah, you saw it too, huh? Explosions. That, that was the guy, right? Skull guy, laser breath, Lord something. Uh. Lemonborn? What'd you say shit was again? I try to avoid saying his true name, Bad Juju. What's it matter? He's already here, ain't he? <laughs> I guess, but yes, the Lord of Time was responsible for the destruction of that dream bubble and the murder of all those innocent ghosts. Ghost murder, second death, soul aside. Innocent ghosts? Killing ghosts as a thing that can happen is seriously the dumbest shit I ever heard. I don't make the rules, Mina. I merely observe them and explain them thoroughly to anyone who will listen. Like you! Yeah. Last thing I need is a... An MME more of your lobsterations. Fish puns, two times combo, boo yeah. Anyway, that explosion kicked ass! Explosions rule the school. Like schools of fishes, I mean. Ha <laughs> ha I agree that it's more excitement than we've seen here in, for millennia, but... All of us here in the afterlife are in serious danger of being ex exterminated. Um... Again... Yeah, I got that. I figured I'd have to be the hero and bail you suckers out again. This time I might not even blow you all up with a bomb. Oh, really? What exactly is your plan? I'm very curious. To get all the ghosts up in here to team up and kill that asshole, duh. What? Oh, Mina, that's such a terrible idea. Poor death choices. Yeah, right. Like you have a better idea. As a matter of fact, I do. And let's rebubble it. No one understands it at all. People say things that are so ignorant you want to go curl up in a tiny ball and pray for a swift second death. Okay. Oh, another box. What the hell is that? It's an echidna statue. Obviously not to scale the picture of the dead. Or Aranea consulted with to learn how to scratch her session. The de 
decision to scratch, of course, came with major consequences. And you guess it's only now that the true extent of those consequences are fully apparent. Looks like it's time to clean up her mess. Oh, also, you can probably make bank off this thing. Somebody else out there. You got a pair of timetables. Use these to travel through time. Which, in the furthest ring, doesn't always mean much. Traveling back in time could also transport you millions of light sweeps away. Probably better to sell them to an eccentric billionaire. Ooh, like that kid across the water there. You bet he's loaded. Talk. Is that the sort of... Uh, ignominy you want? You remember the memory to your falls without really thinking ahead. It has no conceivable relevance to anyone who follows your feed. And everyone wonders why they're even bothering to read this shit. A few people who were on the fence about you quietly unfollow your bubbler feed. The horror terrorists thank you for contributing to the entropy of the afterlife. Let's not go to the weird brain place yet. See if we can get to Dave. Well, we found Rose and a box. It's a copy of the Complacency of the Learned. Wow, this looks really... Uh, just disappeared from your hand in a crazy blur. What the, Oh, that human girl has it. She looks like she's enjoying it a lot more than you ever would. You'll let her have this one. It probably wasn't worth Jack anyway. What's up? Hey! Hello! It's, uh, you! Yes! Human, right? Where are the horns at? So weird. That's right. Rose, more specifically. Who cares? Listen, human girl, I want to ask you something. You're not very good at this, are you? What? Talking to people. Eh? Yeah. It's okay that you are. I'm not trying to criticize. I can kind of relate, actually. I've heard some things about you, that pink, rocky environment back there. That's a memory of your home, right? Before the moon. You renounced the throne and ran away to the moon, didn't you? And then you lived there completely alone for how many years? What are years? I think I'm starting to lose track of what a year is myself. That seems to be what happens when you spend enough time out here. Abyss madness, meteor fever. Uh... I'm just curious about you. You seem like an interesting person. Everybody has a lot of stories to tell. Also, I like your braids. From what I understand, you discovered something on the moon which originally contained your copy of the game. Is that true? Dot, dot, dot. Maybe we can spend some time together, get to know each other. When you have the chance, of course. Man, you're like an alien windfang. All wordy and nosy and nice to me for no discernible reason. All pun equals discern a bubble. You even have the same cod tier jammies on. Goddamn ugly. That's another bright orange blubber mouth. Fuchsia blows orange out of the water. Let's just forget I said anything, okay? Hey, bubble. Many comments. None of the comments appear to be made by people who have any education whatsoever. Join. So, extra talky human. It's me again. Hey! Got a poor position for you. You know the, that bad guy just wrecked the sky and killed some damn elfos? Rainbow Barfer. Lord English? Yes, I know of him. Want to team up with me and kill him, or...? Absolutely! Yay! But later. Much later, really. Gift. God fucking damn it. Ugh. We can't interrupt the plan which has been put into an exorable motion, or for that matter, the media we're traveling on, which has been similarly propelled. Troll Isaac Newton. We have to rendezvous with our re rebooted ancestors, as it were, and help them win their game. Alpha players, team guardians, fun. In the process, we'll allow Dio to become stronger and more experienced. Only then we'll be, be ready to help you defeat him. Additional fun. Oh my glove, you really are Zerk heading the fuck out of this. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, stop over planning. Let's just fly away together and wreck his shit. There are uh, like a billion ghosts out here. We got our numbers on our side. Billions, I mean, probably. Yes, but even if I agreed, I couldn't fly away with you just now. I'm not even standing here. I'm asleep on our meteor. This is a dream projection you're talking to. Kind of like a hologram, I guess. What? You're new to dream bubbles, aren't you? I would be more than happy to explain to you how they work in extensive detail. Ugh! Light players. Later, Rose Fang. Dream bubble. It's a huge hit. People give me a big pat on the back for rebubbling this content. And you essentially reap more credit and recognition for the content than the original author of the memory. It's a great feeling riding the coattails of other people's interesting memories to skyrocket in stature among your followers. This must be how clever people with real accomplishments feel all the time. Oh, hey, can I uh, open this box first? It's a sewing machine. Ooh, this looks really expensive. Bet you could... Wait, what's she looking at? The Merriam girl is looking at you funny. Wait, is this thing hers? 
You don't want to start any trouble over this dumb gizmo. You slowly put it back in the chest. Where are you actually like it ain't no thing? You'll come back and swipe it later when she's not around. Good eye ah! What's happening? Oh hey, the Merriam looking girl. What is the deal with you? The deal with the Merriam looking girl is that she is wondering what the deal is with the Pixies looking girl, and specifically why the former has piqued the latter's the latter's curiosity. The deal with things, the topic of wonder people looking people. Why? Dunno. Seems to me two Merriams is overjoined it a bit. I mean, two captors I'd understand. One was more than enough. The same thing oc occurred to me. You aren't much like the one we had. You talk weird. Kind of a tough act to follow, to be fair, though. The same thing occurred to me yet again. Things that are the same in how they occur to people. Looks like you got the Rainbow Drinker thing going on, too. Damn, you're blind to me, girl. The goggles do nothing. I suppose. So... You go around looking like that all the time, or...? To my knowledge, yes. Kind of personal. Heh. <laughs> is there an alternative degree of auto-luminescence I could, should be aware of? And if so, how foolish should I feel for only learning about it now? On a scale of 1 to idiot. I'm no drinker buff, but yeah, our Miriam figured out how to control it. Really? She probably had more time to figure it out than you. When you're stuck in a busted session for three sweeps without much to do, you figure some stuff out yourself. Not my buzz bug wax, but maybe you should ask her. Buzz bugs, bzz. I don't think so. Why not? I'd like to, but I can't get up the nerve. Oh, come on, she's cool. And she got her ink yet? Fucking dope. Yes. She's an amazing person, and it is very intimidating. I had the same feeling of trepidation the last time I encountered someone I admired. Oh yeah, who was that? Huh? You mean... her over there? Talkie girl in the orange nighty jams? I see. Saw you two hanging out together last time. Gee, a girl from the red sword, I mean. Maybe additional bashfully blank hashtags. That's a Dorbs, yo, and I'm totally rebubbling that. You accidentally rebubble this member to the wrong feed. Turns out to be badly off topic, and you lose a couple followers. So you immediately dispatch another bubble, specifically to tell them to go fuck themselves. Uh, what? Don't want to go in there. Gotta see if I can get to Dave. Or isn't this the way I came from? That is the way I. So let me go this way, see if I can get to Dave, and then I'll go to the weird brain shit. Still gotta find Vriska, though. I assume that's where the eight balls were going. It's a Dursite tabloid. Says some human girl is dead. You don't recognize her. Inside is the usual kind of sensationalizing sleaze you're used to seeing from these. It's been a long time on Durst during your game. You always enjoyed reading these. You were almost always about assassinations, some of which were yours. Dave, I know you're over here. Yeah, here he is. You got nothing. Rebubble. You rebubble it while appending a sassy editorial remark to the a remark to the content. The joke doesn't go over too well. People start calling you out on it. You decide to pop the bubble and put it to rest before it really embarrasses you. But later, people dredge up old bubbles containing their memories of your rebubble memory and throw it back into your face. That rebubble may come back to haunt you again and again until the day your soul dies, which sadly may be never. Hey, cape guy. You're a... Human what's this cape with the shades? That's exactly my name. See, also, Shaggy 2 Cape. Everyone stupidly insists on calling me Dave, though. So, Dave Cape. Where's your bro? My bro? He's dead? Like, the ghost is kinda dead, I think. Unless you mean that kid version is in the guy we both saw with the pointy shades? Kid bro, what the fuck? Remember he grabbed my sleeping teen mom and flew away, and that was the last time I saw of him. That's sort of what he does, just vanishes like a mysterious motherfucker. No, 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 not that guy. Actually, I gave him a sweet high five a little while ago, but that's not who I mean. One of the best high fives ever due to pro. What? When did you give him a high five? Why was I informed of this high five that took place? Not cool. Who cares? I'm talking about your other bro. The cool shouty kid who got PO'd and went to clam scray the fuck out. Mad Vantis. Oh, car cat, you mean. I don't know, he's around. I saw him talking to his ancestor a while ago, or, uh, Bing talked to. Don't think he likes them very much. Hilarious tool party. What? Shouty shouldn't be hanging out with that glubbin' dork. I doubt he actually wants to, too, but you know how it is with ancestors. You know. Okay, maybe you don't, since I guess you're actually an ancestor yourself. Or, you were to some dead girl I've never met, but anyway. I think her name was Fairy or something? They just seemed to, I don't know. Have this inexplicable power over you. I mean, look at Kanai over there. She's a fucking shambles about hers. 
Like, it isn't even rational or anything. They just represent something you measure yourself up to. Dude, come on, get the ruler. And even though they probably aren't all they're cracked up to be, it just kind of gets in your head, you know? Nah. My ancestor was fucking lame. The hell? Also, in another Tuniverse, I grew up to be an ice-cold murder bitch in charge of everybody, which makes perfect sense. Including a pair of human clown slam poets? So the only one I got to measure up to is me, and it turns out I measure up awesomely, future ruler. And on that day, human what's his cape learned the only real treasure was a forced sense of self-esteem. He thanked the punky sea princess for her radical wisdom, and then she went away. I think that maybe I was just owned? You were bubble the mummery and yes, people love this memory. It's like scoring the likes, uh, more likes than anything you've ever rebubbled. You bask in your popularity for a few days until it all dies down and then nothing. A familiar feeling of emptiness returns. It is the perpetual existence of malaise of the afterlife and a nearby hard hair feast off your psychic despair. The hideous beast balloons to twice its former size and issues a deep gurgle of ecstasy. Join us! Yeah, I saw it. I was looking up his space on a little monster gazing, right? Private chill time, oh, just red lobster, bark and seafood buffet board. When I suddenly thought my glasses shattered, Ben Stiller almost fucking tornadoed in his grave. But it wasn't the shades, it turned out that it was space itself that cracked. Fucking relief, best bro gave me these. And I listened and I heard the screams and killing and stuff. Monsters dying, ghosts dying, atrocious problems. I haven't slept well since that. Well, I guess I'm sleeping right now at the moment. Because I'm here in a bubble talking to you, but yeah, in general, my shut-eye has been boned up the protein shoot. Keeping myself busy with awesome projects helps a bit, I guess. Then you must want to kill the guy even worse than me. Why don't you join me so we can fly away and fuck him up together? What's the cape if you don't fly away to clobber bad guys? Nope, nah. Appreciate the offer, but I'm just going to hang tight and work on my e-bubbles. E-what? E-bubbles are awesome. How is this not awesome? It's just some ridiculous shit I figured out how to do here. This whole place runs on memories. I've been messing around with that. Just as, just as long as you don't ask me how. We're cool. Turns out I don't even really need the internet for shenanigans. I can just exploit the afterlife. The fuck? I know you're down to the dumb skin, but that sounds like a stupid waste of time. Now come on, let's go wail on a sheriff. Nah. Guess let's just fucking with you, no. I mean, I think I might be supposed to kill him anyway. That's the feeling I get, like, there are all these clues about that I've kind of noticed. Remember that bullshit about the pimp man in the crib? <laughs> oh, God. So if I'm the guy that... The guy that needs to take him down, then fine, I'll do that if and when I get hornswoggled into some big showdown with a ridiculous green space pimp or whatever he is. I already have a gold tooth. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know. I think I'm not really cut out for the whole reluctant hero shit. I'm better at comics. Like, the whole scene is so obvious and trite, I can't even tell if my reluctance is ironic or if I'm playing it straight. Like, I wonder if I'm being reluctant enough to cut it or if I'm actually just being reluctant to be reluctant. How reluctant do you even have to be to do something like etc etc? Turns out, it turns into like meta reluctance and then I all I can think about is how fucking stupid the whole thing is. I also think about puppets sometimes, unrelated. I think I'm probably just too self-aware for the hero bullshit, so don't even waste your time on me. Wow. So cool! Not. Rebubble the not cool. You rebubble the memory and immediately spark a flame war amongst others who rebubble it. They chime into the memory, adding their two boom pennies. The hostile rhetoric begins to pile up, and soon you try to trace the argument from beginning in a linear fashion. But you can't! It's pure chaos as the bubbles have hopelessly dispersed throughout the ring, reducing any coherence to the argument once had in the shrieking white noise. The dark gods enjoy another small victory over order and reason. There's a lot of these bubbles. Open. It's a swan! Uh, Ribitar. Foes everywhere tremble at the mere sight of this lethal amphibi amphibious scourge. So overwhelming is their terror that, <laughs> yeah, right, this sword is almost too ridiculous for words. Nice conversation piece, though. Ah, uh, shit, is that made of ruby? Come to mama. Open. Uh, talk. Hey, get lost, kid. This is my hiding place. Can't you see the English is coming for me? Dota again, or Death of the Author again. It's coming for us all! Okay, I can't go that way. But I think that was Hussy. Yeah, it's Hussy. Okay. Alright then. I have to read all of these Dave bubbles, but also, there's more things I gotta do with uh, Mina before I go be Dave. Hey, another box! It is 
A juju! What's up with all these jujus lying around? Jujus are very wide ranging in terms of magical objects. You never know what forms they'll take. This one is particularly useless though. It has the power to travel through time, only to the future though. At exactly one second per second. So it does nothing? What's down here? Another box! It is a fusion potion. Legend says this enchanted potion is supposed to. Oh god, it's more troll blood! Wait, this is royal blood! What an absolute outrage to probably some commoner that some commoner had the audacity to draw royal blood. You were almost mad enough not to give a shit. Or not to not give a shit. You chug it over the, the edge, glass shatters, someone below says, ow. Okay. So I gotta investigate the brain area. I also forgot to see if Kanai wants to go with us. Hey Miriam look alike, let's go kick the fuck out of some Skullzilla. I was about to respond favorably, but then I glanced over at Rose, and she was just shaking her head at me very slowly and kind of knowingly. The limitless mysteries of her wisdom know no bounds, human sarcasm. No, you silly drinker, she's just fucking with you. Oh, probably, but let's be realistic here, and the answer was probably going to be no anyway. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna go drink Skull Guy's blood all by myself, then. I bet it hits really bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, later. Let's, uh, heart attack conversation and rebubble it. You rebubble it gets no likes or hates. No opinion. Okay, let's go check out the brain area. Well, first let's go check out the Briska, and then the brain area, not you. Or maybe the brain area, well, I think it'll loop me back around. Ew. Ew. Hey, a box. The hell are these? You got a bunch of throwing stars. Whoa, these are badass. They will keep a few instead of selling them. Unless someone blows you away with an offer, of course. Because such a dork is hilarious. Oh. They just bit me up out back here. I thought it was going to be all groundbreaking, but it was just brains and ninja stars. Ninja Star! Sneaky bitch throws knives! I wish I could remember what YouTube video that was from. I saw it like six years ago, and it was hilarious at the time, but I can't remember just what it was to save my life. Hey, it's Hussy! Yo, orange guy. Or, uh, yellow guy. Squash colored? What's your deal? What the fuck is with all these eight balls? Are you, uh, crying? Awkward. Silence. Bring me a horse and I'm yours forever. Open. You got a bloody cherub tooth. The fact that it's in this chest here is kind of disturbing to you in ways you can't really explain. You think you'll try to sell this thing to the highest bidder as soon as possible. Yo, orange guy. Or I guess I just gotta find him a horse for real. Where the hell am I supposed to find a horse? Going this way just makes everything get all vanishy. Maybe I can't find a horse until I beat Dave. If I can even be Dave. Or maybe there's a direction I could have gone in that I didn't take. But I will not use the walkthrough, even though the video is going to end up being really long. But this is episode 99 of Let's Read Homestuck, and it is currently 6.12. So I gotta, I gotta stick this out. Hello again. The eight balls were not Vriska, they were Hussy. And there doesn't seem to be anywhere else I can go besides, uh... Actually, I think there was another brain route. Nope. So I just gotta try being Dave and see if I can find a horse. Wait, you wanna be me? Yeah, why not? Okay, well, without getting too deep into the issue of how absurd that request is on the very face of it, a face presently being palmed, it's just not gonna happen. I mean, not yet anyway. Not this early in your little dream bubble quest you got going on here. Shut up, dog. Just let me walk around as you and stuff. Talking peeps in your t cool kid way. Maybe play a different tune? No. Why? I really don't think we should get too meta about this. Just, look. You're on a mission to gather up all your dead friends and build an army or something. Personally, I think that's a shitty idea, but you're clearly motivated to do that. Yeah, true that. 
So why would you waste time going around being other people? It doesn't make any fucking sense. For instance, you can't beat anybody in this fucking sandy beach area because, ostensibly, you're just charging through this place looking for your friends. Damn it, try to play the part at least somewhat. <laughs> already too meta, I give the fuck up. Aw, oh, man. Maybe when you catch up with your posse, you can be some of those guys. Hell, maybe you can be some of us too after the whole thing you're trying to do winds up being this huge predictable disappointment. But that would have to be in a different area. What area? What are you- are you cray? Like a different goddamn bubble zone. Like someone's memory of a magic fucking forest or home village or some shit. I don't know, just some of the fuck else. Now go away. Of this, let us never speak again. Be Dave, bitch please. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna like that one. And I'm gonna rebubble it. Your bubble thingy will bring joy. Yeah, but it doesn't. No matter how many memories you like or hate or rebubble, you are always left with an empty feeling in your soul. Like that your existence is truly as meaningless as one would expect it to be out in this the middle of an endless void amidst colossal hideous monsters. Why do you do this to yourself? And yet, you cannot stop. Can't stop, won't stop! Okay, so I think I gotta talk to, uh, Aranea again about my friends, because I forgot to do that. And then maybe when she tells me where they are, I can actually go find them. But I know I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be able to do the thing with bringing Husty a horse. Ask about friends. So where's every Moby? I want to talk to him about something. Dead Franz, Ghost Bros, Hot Pals, I don't know. I believe most of our friends have gathered in this stream bubble. You should be able to find them if you explore a bit. What did you want to talk to them about? Gotta get the gang back together. I'll patrol over you, yo. Take down that douche of time. You say he's invincible, but I think that's exactly the kind of loser BS that made us lose like a bunch of fucking losers in the first losing place. Losers, losing experts, lost masters, fail pros. We can do it if we all, like, work together and shit. If we build an army here, maybe... A ghost army! Think of how club and sick that would be! Sick, perhaps, but not a very good strategy. You'll just be leading everyone into permanent oblivion. At least you will... At least you will without coming up with a better plan first. And what's your awesome idea? To be a little more patient! A literary of assonance, assonance, patient pixies. I've been following clues regarding the whereabouts of a secret weapon that may be the key to defeating him. Oh, really? What's the weapon? Or weapron? The Wepron, I, a weapon, I mean. It's not a what, but a who. Wepron, really, Mina? She's the other sheriff, the Lord's female counterpart, who once per occupied the same body. But when they reached maturity, his personality dominated the host, assuming complete control, xenobiologically fascinating species. She technically died that day, and now her spirit presumably roams somewhere out here in the furthest ring, or so the legend goes. We need to find her before he does. He will surely want to finish her off. Cherub? Uh, what? Okay, I didn't really follow any of that junk, so, uh, you go right ahead and find your cherub, girl. I'm gonna be right here building my ghost army, BIATCH! Very well, best of luck with that, but try to remember it has been a very long time since any of our friends have done anything important at all, like, almost eternity? It may be, m uh, more difficult to find recruits for your army than you think. I hope you like frustrating conversations, please. Okay, I admit that most of them were chumpy as globes when we were trying to win our game, but this time, when I'm through with them, they'll be the loyal, murderous mob of cherub fucking fury our people were always supposed to be. And if you don't think I can do that, then need I remind you who I grew up to be in some other dimension or whatever? Batter witch, water bitch, oh my fucking god, yes, 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 yes. You needn't remind me at all, your condescension. I believe you were hatched to be a tyrant, and I pray that your campaign of bullying and intimidation goes swimmingly. Oh, you're the best, circuit. Come here. Rebubble the kissing. Congratulations, that was a rebubble that pushed you over the edge. You are now officially bubbler famous. Yeah! Now where the fuck do I go? Don't you look at me like that walkthrough button. I don't need you. I just gotta find a horse somewhere. Boy, is this a brain area again? Yeah. There are no horses in the brains. Also, why is Hussey in two different spots? I might also go back into the brains and uh, talk to him again. Talk to me, Orange Man. Nah, same conversation.
So I guess I do gotta find a horse to make that conversation happen. Wait, do you hear something nearby? Is... Is that... Sobbing? Is it him? Are you, uh... Crying? Silence. Why didn't it tell me that now? I spoke to him like four times. Okay, I already opened that box. You got a thing of motor oil! Hey, it even has an intact label. Typically the label's ripped off ripped off and applied to chalk murals. The fact that it still has a label makes it more valuable as a collector's item. Always gotta be mindful of the cash value of useless shit you find in chests. Take a little sip, it tastes awful. Presumably the blah animation happened. There's gotta be more directions unless I'm supposed to just go to the next page. But I'm pretty sure I'm the the uh that there's supposed to be a findable oh. horse. Yeah, there's no other directions, and I'm not sure if I can go back into my house. But I'm gonna try, because it would be kind of hilarious if I could have just gone back in the house this whole time. Nope. Let's see if Arania knows anything. Arania, or not Arania. Uh, Arania. Go down the stairs! Greetings! Blah, 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 blah. Just gotta go through this conversation. That was my chance to uh, rebubble that conversation. Oh well. Gotta find the other stairs past the hussy. Still not 100% sure where I'm supposed to find a horse though. Maybe I should check the map. Okay, I've been all through there. All through there. Oh, there's... Oh! Okay. There's all this shit that I didn't even see. Alright. There's more things through the big-ass purple castle. Just gotta get over there. Okay, cool, I made progress. Oh, Ben. You got a sufferer pendant! Exhibiting the sign of the signless. The story of the sufferer really got popular amongst your old crew as a kind of a religious fad. After everyone died and learned the stories of their post scratch lives, Erin especially seems to have bought into this nonsense hook, line, and si uh, sinker. She never wore anything like that around her neck before she died. You wonder if people have gotten so into it just to bug Vantis? You just know how it probably pisses him off seeing people wear this thing all the time. It's the spear that killed Tavros. His memory is this thing has really made its rounds. Let's see, Tavros had it but then was impaled by it. The Black Queen had it and used it as a cigarette holder sometimes when she was Snowman. Space Slicks wielded it while riding around on a horse hitcher once. Snowman killed quarters with it, you think? That happened in the top banner though, so you might have missed it. Mina has no idea what we're talking about. You got a pair of horns! This is the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Why would anyone wear a second pair of horns? 
Unless maybe they were compensating for a particularly nubby pair? Oh, you got it! Humans wear these to pretend to be trolls and also less stupid looking. This clearly belonged to a human. Yeah, there's something else down there. Boon bucks! A whole stack of boon dollars! Keep them coming, you'll be rich again in no time. Pretty soon you'll own this place right after you save it from destruction, of course. How, how does this factor into the big silly tumbler metaphor? I don't know. You got a whole heap of boon dollars, mo' money. Some of these messages don't really make sense unless you're being Mina, but you're not going to let that bother you. Open. You got a Rag Ripper, a popular model from the Demon Bane line of chainsaws. At least it was popular on Alternia. Your planet wasn't nearly badass enough for this thing to be sold legally, but Forest was so lame. Okay, so I guess I just walk down here. I saw, I saw one of the other people. Signless Shackles. Authentic religious memorabilia. These were the doodads adult post-scratch Vantus was chained up with when he died. You bet Sergei would fork over a ton of gold for this junk. Religious nuts are some of the biggest suckers around. Or as then as phantom ghost memory items get. Another box. It's... what is this? You got another Juju! It looks like a magic egg timer which you can use to travel through time, haphazardly and stupidly. It's the, the type of item that's severely prone to making a mess of the timeline. You need a Juju Breaker to destroy such an item, or repair the damage it's done. But that kind of thing is extremely rare to non-existent. You don't have a single good guess what form such an item would take. Okay, you pried one hand out of the number, uh, out of me, the number seven. Okay, so I gotta go down this way. Look at the little waddle as she walks. Mina waddle! Oh. Hey, it's Shouty! But it looks like he's severely embroiled in a heavy co discussion with your team's Vantis. You don't really feel like getting involved. Listen on a conversation? Yeah. Now I realize we've been at this for some time already, but at the risk of derailing the dialogue you initiated, and may I just say how thrilled I am that you di did, Carcat, I would just like to uh, qualify my entire analysis of your Alternian culture by saying that in contrast with life on the forest, while your people may have been engaged in violent lethal class struggle for millions of sweeps, by no means does this imply that the before and way of life was entirely without problematic elements. Perhaps even more disturbing and insidious for their lack of acknowledgement and open discussion, particularly as a consequence of what, in my view, was more widely dis that, uh, dismayingly examined its systemic social injustice resulting from the entrenched power dynamics in play, dynamics strikingly similar to those of your planet's markedly more... Uh, I don't even know what the... I don't even know what they were supposed to be. Iteration, which has been only served to fully vindicate my hypothesis that such a hierarchy is really predicted on an intrinsic dysfunction and failure to shift all of Jesus is still talking. <laughs> Great, it sounds like you don't have any triggers. So much talking. So much talking, and his quirk is difficult to read. It's probably for the best that I'm not bothering to read this, because his entire character was just meant to be a lampoon of people who talk about... Uh, about uh, his entire character is a, a lampoon of 2012 Tumblr. So it's probably for the best that I'm just skipping through what he's saying. Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna rebubble that. You rebubble it while appending a sassy editorial remark, blah blah. Okay. Get the hell away from them. Maybe I can find a horse out here. Okay, let's check this way first. You got a pressled horse hitcher. Who would have done this to such a fine cast iron steed? Whoever it was must have been incredibly strong, incredibly smug, and incredibly floppy when shaken. It's 
I wonder if that's the horse that I need. It's a troll romance novel. Wow, this is some steamy, trashy literature here. It's making you perspire a little, and you're only three sentences into the title. Doesn't seem like anyone's looking. Maybe you'll just take one little peek at the... Oops, disappeared in a blur again. God damn it. Lalonde! It's a registicle. Perfect for threshing royalty with. You can almost say you could use it to thresh princes. Troll Will Smith. You got a magic cue ball. Hey, is this thing a juju too? It's a shame you can't see through its surface, so you'd be able to ask it yourself. This is another thing that's kind of unnerving to find here. The thing it's only a memory object, right? Maybe. Another box. You got a bunch of licorice Scotty dogs. Oh man, these were a delicacy on your planet. The most valuable treat per pound by far. You have to be a very, very wealthy person to keep a great supply of these on hand. By selling these, you should be able to make most of your fortune back in one fell swoop. Except you just ate most of them. Worth it. Alright. Damn, girl! You finally made it! High five! You know it. I am so fucking ghostly now. Right on, girl! Dream bubbles rule! For life, for life! Okay, or is it a life for life? What? Uh, yeah, that should, should have sounded more like a life for life, like A4, A as in after, but uh, spoken as as a number, then A as a homonym for the proposition of and uh, proposition and stuff. Prepos well, whatever the fuck. Spoken court confusion. You know how it is. A girl's got to sacrifice understandability for the sake of radness sometimes. Reaching the, the group of uh, choral slingers, uh, singers, pyrope. Choral singers? Oh, you mean a choir? I get it, but corals, as in the funky shit underwater, is dead, haha. <laughs> Still rocking the fish puns, I see. Well, that's not really the kind of ratness I was talking about, but I'll let it slide. Hey, fuck you! Can't believe y'all go shitting on my fish puns right out of the blowhole like that. As if your number BS and jacking Z's on the end of words is any more rad than my baller wordplay. Or should I say, sword fish play? Nah, that sucks. I mean, your skating and stunts are objectively rad, I'll give you that. But you need to get off your high seahorse because practically nothing else about you is especially radder than average. Oh, chill. Axe paycheck? I'm so jack jerking your fork. I know we've had our issues before, but I could always see you had true rad girl cred. You don't even know how hard it was uh, towing the rad load all by myself with you gone for so long. Towing loads harsh as my, my grinds. Do you even know how lame... Lame of a scene it is being the only legit in your fa face power <laughs> power gaming girl and a bunch of bubbles full of brutal posers. What I'm saying is I'd like to have you uh, have you back mi uh, back MP. Hey, hit me up top. High five. Uh, sure. Still wearing out the high fives I see even after like what eternity? So I don't know how time works here. Fuck yeah, girl. Oh, Everyone even got to congratulate you on your on your wicked rad suicide bomb plan was. Or how wicked killed the shit out of us. Never saw it coming. Sure never smelled it coming, head. <laughs> Way smart, timing it just before the scratch, so so that God Tears didn't have a, a chance to revive before the uh, reset, thus ironically leaving them to be erased from existence. Not that, that really even needed explaining. That just occurred to me recently was opening the uh, the meal vault to make a freaking ghost snack when I was like, shit! Hey, check! I said all shaking my fist. Eh, uh, don't leave me hanging, girl. High five. Okay, one more pie, Roby, but that's it. I think a good high five as much as the next bad girl, but my god. Got this fresh pimp ghost bod looking fine as fuck. I don't need to callous my palms up already. Haven't you heard an empress needs hands so soft you can use them to polish gold with? Okay. It seems... Like a spam ghost has hacked your soul and has been rebubbling weird advertisements to your followers for like the last 50 million sweeps? This is a disaster. You have almost no followers left. Mostly after for gross horror terror porn and flagella erecto medication. Ugh. Question. Shoot, babes. Seeing as what a hot shit gamer girl you have a reputation for and all, I figure you would let, uh, be a lot to join my party to go fuck up, uh, Lambert Lord or whatever. Wait, who? 
Skull guy? Kills ghosts? Uh, no! Help me out! Uh, pay money? Don't you keep up with current events? <laughs> you reminded me why I thought you were crazy, MP. Just freaking spill it. The shit in the sky? It cracked? A monster did that. Do you want to go help me kill the bad guy? Oh, why didn't you say so? Sounds like a rad plan, and you know how I feel about the rad plans, but... Hate to be a buzzkill, but it's been what? Approximately hell a year since I did any fighting? Kinda rusty, shit don't... Shit, don't let KK know I said rusty. Uh, so... But I'm saying I had scads of time to perfect the, this killer hand plant. Wanna see? Nah, I'm pretty sure don't give a shit about a trick you can do on your four-wheel device. So I will say, Scads is actually a fish pun you made probably on accident. Which kind of makes me want to give you a hug, so I'll bounce out your dumb shit answer. I'm sorry, MP, I really am. I feel like such a, a... What the fuck? A snuggle plane falling on you like this? So maybe you, like, wet snuggle plant... plant what? I don't... Man. I'll try to run it by MT. See what he thinks. Oh shit, you and captured? That's still a thing after all this pseudo time, or...? <laughs> yeah. Still red? Uh-huh. Well, the Glover! Seriously didn't think that would last. I don't know, there are, there are way more... There's way more to him than, well, all the terrible and stupid shit he says all the time. It's always felt like he needs me, if that makes sense, even after dying. So there's that! Fucking afterlife. I know I'm new here, but almost seems like he died, and nothing means anything, and then you date forever. So that makes me want to go puke. Maybe in a nice way, though? Couldn't see that wink behind your rat specs for your information. And then, anyway, if you change your mind, just let me know. That was that pump was bad. Okay, so I'll be her. Li okay, let's see what happens about her now because of the music change. Girl, who doesn't want to be me? You think you can just waltz into this bubble, start uh, start being any rat gamer girl you cross paths with? She ain't right. You have a long, long way to go before you can earn enough rad creds to be me, or as I like to call them, creds. Latula, shut up and just tell me what horseshit thing you want me to do. It's gonna cost you. You have to be like, you have to like all my raddest mem uh, memories and then rebubble at least 413 of them. The number 413, not AIE. Can you not be serious? Ha ha ha! Psych. Okay, tools, I'm out. Wait, don't be like that. We can still kind of deal. Let me think. Alright, kid, tell you what. Since I dig your style, I'll give you a shot. You may think you rule, whereas most others drool, but what I want to know is how bad can you thrash stuff? Just need you to scope your kickflip chops to make sure everything checks out, see if your techniques are, are where they need to be at. Kickflip chops? Yeah, girl, show me your stunts. Maybe something in a, in a um, something in a hand plant. Oh no, what shit would be wicked malicious? Grinding down a railing. Yeah, hold poles. That ought to be flicker enough to prove your ratness for sure. So what do you say, paycheck? Ready to start ripping up so many hellacious shreds that this? What the fuck? Fierce nasty biz nasty. Fierce, fierce shitty biz nasty will start getting so deliriously rude breaking it. Just give me the board, my ropey. You, you got the four-wheel device. Okay, how do I do the thing? How do I grind the rail? I guess I don't get to grind the rail. Close conversation, okay. How did I miss the close conversation button all those times? What is this? The door is locked. It appears to be guarding private memories. Looks like it needs a password. What is this? Examine bubble. It's a little dream bubble, but it does not contain your memory. Only Porum can see what's inside. Sorry. Yo. Welcome back. What's up, Miriam? So, your death certificate is barely dried and you're already busy raising an army, I hear. How'd you even hear that already? Word travels fast here, plenty of gossip. No one quite prepares you for the fact that on the other side of death is an infinite echo chamber of teen drama. Bubbler. 
funny how when we left our world to play your game, we all thought we were leaving our juvenile school feeding days behind. Behind us. Yeah. All the more reason to get out here and fight bad guys and stuff. I noticed how you cunningly sidestepped an encounter with Kankri down there. Nicely done. Yeah, poor Shouty. No Moby deserves having to meet a dead teen alt universe ancestor like that. I think he might be entertaining some delusion of taking him under his wing. Or if not his wing, the red fuzzy arm of his sweater. What is with that ugly thing anyway? I made it for him, actually. For one thing, I got tired of looking at his stupid hiked up pants, which he refused to change ever. Seriously, did you ever see him wearing anything else? Pants can. Haha, <laughs> no. So unfashionable. Also, he's always sh he was always shivering. It just gets kind of chilly out here, and he just wouldn't stop. Not that I mind it too much, but he just has this way of making such vocal and os ostentatious displays of suffering like it's some kind of righteous state of being. It gets difficult for everyone to endure, especially after eons. Hence his nickname, I guess. Wait, nickname? If there's some new dig on Vantis, I need to know about it pronto. The insufferable? Fuck yes, high five! Wait, forget it, my hands are still sore from Latula. Goddamn rad girl. Crit slaps hard! Oh, I know! You do? Wait, this sounded officially, this sounded officially like any window. You and her ever, uh... I was under the impression you didn't come here to start trading gossip. Well, you're right. Almost forgot to not be a glub and fuck. I apologize for prying into your ROM life like that was so shrippiant of me. It's alright. It's not like I have many well kept secrets. Come visit any time, we'll get you all caught up on exactly who's been passing through the well greased revolving doors to my quadrants. You rebubble the memory, and yes, people love this memory. It's scoring many likes blah 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 blah, nothing. Ask the join. It's a notable idea, but I don't know how useful I'd be. Oh, come on! What's the size of your party so far? Uh, it's still just you, isn't it? Maybe? Losers everywhere. If I were you, I'd ask all the gold tiers first, or god tiers first. They'd give you the most tactical advantage, wouldn't they? Then you can build your coalition around them. Pajama party. I guess. They're immortal, right? Or ghost immortal, perhaps? Dear God, it's finally come to this. We have to talk about ghost immortality now in a serious way. LOL, yeah. Anyway, that's what I do. But I think the, the thing is the Skull Lord might actually be able to kill God Tears? At least ghost God Tears. Any? Like, bypass the whole judgment. Hola Beluga, that makes some resur- that makes some resurrect. You know, with the fancy clock and all? I don't know. You have to ask Garanea. I'm sure she could talk your fin off on the subject. Ugh. Yeah, maybe later. Do you even know who all the god tiers are? Um, there's Aranea. Did you ask her? Yeah, but she didn't plan. Girl's going on a cherub jam or some bitch ass noise. F that. Okay, well, I hope this isn't too invasive, but what about you? I've heard rumors that you reached god tier but never let, let on to anyone, except presumably tomorrow. You don't understand? It's just that fucking thief of life get up. I couldn't just parade around in that hideous thing. So it's true then. Thought so. See what I mean, though? I wasn't sure about that until just now. Rumors are always flying, but secrets somehow persist. Who knows what else, who else reached God tier? A lot can happen in three sweeps. I only know who... I only know I didn't make it. But if you need someone to purely, uh... Uh, phosphorus in the demon's vicinity, while debating whether to try drinking his blood, then I'd like to think I can easily crack the top ten candidates you might consider for the job. Yeah, I know you'd rock the glowing duties. Guess you're right, I should see what other god tiers want to join. But I don't think becoming god tier stops you from being lame and terrible. And we got a lot of people like that on our team. This is true. Guess I'll keep axing around. Gonna bounce. See ya, Miriam. You rebubble the memory in many comments. Can I be her? Holy crap, I actually wasn't able to be someone. Examine bubble. It's a little dream bubble containing one of your memories. You look inside. The memories from right here on Prospect. You spent a great deal of time there during the long sweeps of your session. You remember this precipice well. But, wasn't there a staircase here? You're almost positive there were... St stairs. Well, that was, that was convenient. This episode is going to be so overlong. Oh, hey, other stairs. Oh god, it's them. Run from the talks! Let's go see if we can find us a Kanaya.
Where do you think you're going? This is Mina's interactive quest of the afterlife. You can only leave the area if you're being her. Damn. Well, I tried. I like this music. I don't really want to listen to them talk again. Talk to Kankri. Can you leave this poor kid alone? I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't call me that. We talked about this. That's what you call a wiggler. Do I look like a wiggler to you, Param? No, I don't. It's been three sweeps plus eternity for, excuse me, fuck's sake. I think we can safely retire that particular term of endearment. Call me anything but that. Even my other nickname. I'm actually okay with that one. I'm not calling you insufferable, Candy. Well, not unless I'm using it as an actual adjective. And even then, probably not to your face. Well, not often, I mean. It would be nice if you'd at least use my proper name in front of my studio's young alternian descent. It is really kind of, uh, it kind of erodes my credibility, and I don't need that in proximity of a fresh-faced youngster who clearly thirsts for knowledge. Why would you want to sabotage a fine young man's education like that? Rolling my eyes here. Can you see? Do you want me to light them up for you? No, but thanks, thanks for offering. Could you go roll them over there? Thank you. Now, where was I? I don't think he cares. Hey, hey there, car cat. If you don't mind my asking, are you even remotely interested in... And the loaf supplement this guy's serving. Gotcha, you just said all you needed to say. You know, you're actually very cute. That girl who's been wandering around in the dragon suit is a very lucky lady. Okay, wonderful. That conversation just came to an end. Poor him, please don't hit on my rebooted kid ancestor descendant. It's really weird. Not to mention, he looks exactly like me. I mean, kind of, obviously. So when you're hitting on him, it's like you're hitting on me at the exact same time. Which, like I said, is weird. Not to get out into all this again, but the thought of dating you is just a strange and vaguely off-putting idea. No offense, it almost makes me understand at a visceral level the bizarre human anatomy of incest, which is really like it's something I can't really explain. I'm just saying. Very deep sigh. Oh my god. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry that I am perhaps literally the only one not to ever fall prey to your t tireless omnidirectional solicitations. Or to get swept up in one of your innumerable flushed or calligonous flings. I happen to always prefer you as a friend, and in any case, I always preferred to lead a relative chaste existence as it keeps me focused on fighting on behalf of truly important problems. Although staying relatively chaste to you, I suppose is not saying much. Hey. Once again, I apologize. I flirted into the problematic territory of bas vacillation shaming, thus opening f the floodgates to the myriad of ways one might be disadvantaged upon its staggering shame radius. I forgot to check my piety privilege, and here we are! I was going to cover this topic in a much later chapter of my lecture, but we've gotten de badly derailed here. Alright, I'm sorry for this interruption. I promise I'll get back to my critical lecture as soon as this promiscuous busybody leaves us in peace. Yes, critical lecture, I'm sure. And am I right in being... And am I right in being just as sure you are assiduously deconstructing every conceivable hypothetical form of injustice, no matter how obscure, except those that I happen to think are kind of important? No, just no, Porum. We're not doing this. I'm not going to pollute Karkat's utterly imperative crash course in which he is introduced to the absolute basics by indulging your pet issues. Yes, how dreadful it would be for your 69 million word essay to get bogged down by even the faintest reference to the roles of gender and before in an alternian civilization. Human sarcasm. Look, it's not that I'm insensitive to your concerns on that topic. I'm interested to discuss them with you on an academic, primarily theoretical level. Theoretical? I just think there is an inherent danger in mudding the waters of discourse by introducing social issues which are suspect at best, thus consuming crucial resources <sighs> from the limited cache of rhetoric which propels these narratives. And furthermore, one could argue it's even more it's more than a little problematic, offensive even for you to be appropriating the lexicon of sensitivity to you used to advance awareness of major issues, thus reducing it to the level of buzz speak in pseudoscience. It makes it more difficult for those of us who were genuinely focused on positive change to be taken seriously, that's all. Appropriating? That's not what that even means! Pseudoscience? You did not just... I'm sorry, I just don't think there's much there. We aren't like humans whose species, bizarrely enough, ex includes highly specialized roles for s six, uh, both sexes in the process of reproduction, and so this naturally had social ramifications for the way their civilization evolved. But that's not how it works for us, so I fail to see how gender factors into this discussion in a way that can be effectively and rationally problem uh, problematized. Where is the room for unexamined privilege in the dichotomy? I don't see it. And appropriating the talking points and awareness-raising tactics for dubious issues like this is frankly frowned upon, to put it politely. Such appropriate, appropriate gestures always serve to marginalize and invalidate those subjects to serious real-life issues and oppression, and I guess I'm a little disappointed to see you being so blithely and inappropriately app appropriatory. Frowned upon, frowns all around, welcome to Frowntown. 
Channing, I'm starting to feel just a little bit triggered by all this appropriation bullshit. Trigger warning, I'm about to kick your tall pants ass. Oh, my sincere apologies. I should have done a better job tagging my statements. But for future reference, it's helpful to alert your controversial partners to your triggers well in advance. Should I go fetch your more realm to help you settle to help settle you down? And if so, who exactly would be filling that quadrant today? It's the mayor, right? Gotta be the mayor. Alright, obviously you're in one of your bratty moods. I'm gone. Don't be like that. Really, we can talk about whatever you like later. I'll be really sympathetic, I promise. Just not around my pupil while he's still learning. Or my descendant. What did I say? Uh, Car... Uh, Carcat, I mean. Anyway, Carcat, again, I apologize for that. I'm just gonna put that and rebubble. Oops, that memory was just rebubbled in violation of the Furthest Rings content policy. The hard hair just suspended your soul and you are now blocked from rebubbling memories unless you really want to. Okay, so let's get the hell away from that guy, because he's a douche. Other stairs. Hey! Yo, yo, what's up, girl? Matula, it's just me. I don't think anyone is looking. No need to go heavy on the rad girl routine. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll chill it down a bit. What's on your think pan, uh, Pomeri? Meeting our ancestors as kids, or I mean our descendants as kids, however you want to spin it. It has me thinking about our rebooted lives with Alternia and what we grew up to be. It makes me wonder about fate, if it's something that's even comprehensible. Yeah? For instance, on Alternia, my relationship with Kankri seemed to make some sense. I could definitely see our lives becoming entangled in that way, karmically speaking. But then there were other developments that are still mysterious to me, like... As far as I know, you and Arania always got along, didn't you? Eh, I guess. Never spent much time thinking about Circuit, to be honest. I always thought she was a self-absorbed snooze, if you really want to know. Not even the rad kind of snooze. Exactly, nothing much to your relationship to speak of at all, but in your post scratch lives you had such major issues even your descendants inherited, and continued the contentious cycle until there was bloodshed. Really? Huh. Did you not know that? One fan gave you gave you five, then left you hanging. Ne never really thought about it, but now that you mention it, the outcome makes all sorts of sense to me. It does? How? Just does, babes. I don't really understand karma. That's because you're not a mind player. Oh, could you explain to me how it works then? As if, that wouldn't be a very rad thing to do. Hey, check out this uh, outstanding head flip. I don't... <sighs> okay, let's see it. Rebubble. Advertisements. Okay, so it looks like that's everybody I can talk to is her, so let's back to being her. Yeah. Yes. Whoa. That was so freaking radical. Holy smokes, girl, I didn't think you even had grinds like that! So you say you want to be me, huh? Well, you got it! Hells, girl, I'm not sure if I should should be the one asking to be you! Rebubble. Be Latula. Uh, yeah, what's up, gamers? I'm Game Girl, and I'm here to show you that girls can game, too. Don't go easy on me, guys. I hear you've been hassling the new kids. What is up with that? Hassling? Far from it. I merely discovered a new and far less ungrateful flock which has not yet become woefully jaded to my messages of positive social change. You can't fool me, can you? You're boring that poor dude to death. You just want to make a ghost out of him so you can keep him here forever. Which ain't right! You have to let that, that bro die on his own mad volitions. I'm probably just gonna, like, run through this conversation because I'm sick of hearing him talk. Also, this is not the mix that's in the soundtrack, and I'm gonna like that and rebubble. Yeah, there's not really anybody else to be but Kankri at this point. Be me, I... I'm not sure if that's... Oh, come on, Kankles! Please! Well... Okay, I'll interrupt my imperative mono... Uh... Mantle? Mono? Moral? I don't know what that word that's supposed to be. Dialogue just this once. For you. 
Okay, cool. Now we can be you and you shut up. One moment, please, Garkhead. I'm going to blah, 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 blah. I'm uh, going to wander around briefly and then I'll talk in this fashion. I know you're very excited to continue our discussions and I promise I'll return very shortly so that we may resume. Just remain standing there in this exact spot while you take time to let the wisdom of my words take root in your heart and try not to wander off with anybody, okay? Be right back. Rebubble. Okay, I made I made the uh, the living, breathing, walking embodiment of Tumblr be bubbler famous. All right, cool. Also, I'm glad that his music doesn't. Uh, I'm glad it seems to loop before it adds the creepy Gregorian chant thing. But here's his room. Let's go inside. The door is locked. It appears to be guarding private memories. It's a password. Oh, okay. So I gotta become someone who can make me be Carcat. Talk to Mina. Well, Mina, I didn't see you come in. You should have come say hello. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to bother you and shout at you over there. It would have been all right. Carcat and I were only a few hours from wrapping up our first of what I presume will be many, many sessions together. You and I have so much to discuss. I've really crystallized some problems. Eternity is really helped me make some progress on issues that matter to everybody, even groups of people who don't technically exist. I've had a lot of time to think about that, uh, to think about that, and about us, our team, I mean, and the mistakes we made, which blah, 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 blah. Hurting all these goddamn wiggle beasts, fucking pain in the ass. Uh, whatever you say. Undisputed spiritual shepherd, <laughs> I've also heard you've been recruiting members for our militia? Another... Another bold endeavor. Not surprising, though. Before you embark, I do hope you'll set aside at least several sweeps to listen to some of my... Hey, Vantis? I really want to hear more of your garbage and listen to, to it all with hella baited breath. Like, I really, really miss that. You have no idea. But I have to go do a thing real quick. Oh. Can you wait? Like, right here? Exactly this spot. For a few minutes? Absolutely. Really, no hurry. I'll take the time to prepare some of my opening statements to better contextualize prohibitively loquacious uh, harangue. I mean, friendly banter. Be right back, dog. Run! Yeah, alright. Let's, let's go see if I found the right horse to give the hussy. Wait, I, can, I think I just take a shortcut through the, the brains. Nope, this is not where the shortcut through brains is. Okay. I've been recording for over an hour, so I'll see when I get the hussy. And here we are. Let's see if this is the right horse. Oh my god, you didn't. You didn't! Could it be? You did! You brought me a horse! Look at this glorious knotted up horse hitcher! This will be the most amazing present I've ever received. I will cherish it forever. So, uh, hey. You come here often? Briska who? Oh my god. Well, a deal's a deal. I'm now at your command. Why? Why did I have to bring this idiot a horse hitcher? Rebubble the memory. Okay, so he's just he's just following me now. I uh. Uh huh. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure what him following me will accomplish. Maybe I have to bring him to Aranea so that he freaks out. Okay, so that's just gonna repeat. And it doesn't look like I can talk to him either. So let's see if I can find that box that had Hussy in it. Okay, so I'm gonna actually check the walkthrough now. Let's see. Room one, Pilatula, get her skateboard. Create a staircase, Pilatula, be Cancri, talk to Minos, like yes. Oh, I have to talk to Carcat. Okay, cool. All right, I'll see when I get the car cat. Psst. Hey, Vantis. What? Now's your chance. Let's blow this nautical stand. 
Nautical Popsicle? Eh, close enough. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to. Shouty, you can't let that boring nerd tell you how to roll. You want to stand right here lis listening into his his shelf-important baloney all day? Not really. Shelf-important A-baloney? Goddamn Sea Dwellers. Then come on! Dang. Now I have a hussy and a car cat. Wait, there's a quicker way to do this. Goodbye, Latula. My army is coming along nicely. Yeah. Ah, there he is. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Bad is give me your password. Huh? This is your door, ain't it? What makes you say that? The symbol on the door is the same as on your fucking shirt. Come on, it ain't a blast off device science. Okay, yeah, it's mine. Maybe I got tired of interloping shitbags tracing over, tracing through my private and personal memories. You don't need to whisper anymore. Ain't no one around. Oh. Now, what's the password? Oh, well, I'll type it for you. Oh, just tell me, shouty. Oh my god, that is so unreasonable. How was it not pretty much the most reasonable fucking thing in the world to let me just type my own password? Dude, you want Kangaroo to find you and talk your dubs off again? No, what do you think with that? Or I'll tell you, just don't go blabbing it around. The password is... If I hate myself so much, why don't I hate marry myself? What? If I hate myself so much, why don't I hate marry myself? Bro, you gotta speak up. If I hate myself so much, then why don't I hate marry myself? What are you, deaf? That's your password? What in Glub's name does that even mean? Nothing, it's none of your business. It's just something that reminds me of an old friend, all right? Can we get going now? Fuck yeah, this way, shouty. You will not regret hitching your wagon to my starfish. Rebubble. Oh. Okay, so, oh. So, shouty, or Kankrat, was it? I'm meaning to ask you, hey, where'd he go? So hard making friends. Rebubble memory. Open this box, open. Horse. You got a 2010 spirited horse calendar. You flip through it, and yep. Hearth box car is still farming all those goddamn horses. What? Yeah, I saw him scurry by a moment ago. He went that way into a memory of his old neighborhood. Man, what gives? Is my breath stinker? Do I need a fish mint? I think he just wants to be alone. He tried to lock his memories away from others, I guess without realizing these... These bubbles can be very permeable. If the memory is big enough, people will be able to wander into it from many directions. He probably won't be too happy to find more of our friends are hanging out there. Oh shit, more of the old gang is that way? Guess I better go talk to them too. Probably have to bail Shouty out yet again. Damn kid makes you work. That's probably why you're obsessed with him. Shut up. Three bubble. Yo, what is this shit? You selling something here? If so, I should warn you, I'm a little low on funds these days. I'm offering explanations. I'll explain anything you desire. <laughs> you must be out of your seat sponge if you think I'm a part with anything of value for a shitty speech. Oh no, you misunderstand. It is I who will pay you five boon bucks if you listen to an explanation on any topic of your choosing. Oh. So what, what, what topic will it be? Hang on, I'm thinking. Can't decide on a topic? No, can't decide if it's worth listening to you even if you pay me. Now I th now I know you're messing with me. I know you can't say no to easy money. Yeah, you're right. If I fall asleep, do I still get paid? Lay it on me. Rebubble. Ah. That's a wall. So I guess I got to go this way? This leads to the end of the game. Are you sure you're done here? Yeah. That's the end. Continue playing on the next page. Okay, so, this has been Anashi Sasuke. This is episode 99 of Let's Read Homestuck. This took a lot longer than I thought it would, but like I said, this is going to be the whole episode anyway. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Later.